Hey guys, I'm back. Got a little homestead update for you. A couple things that are in the works and uh, what I've been up to. So I have been busy, I haven't been sitting around, but it's kind of hard to videotape me milling lumber out of the sawmill day after day. I get kind of tired of cutting and editing videos of me just cutting out two by fours. I've got a greenhouse and a tree fort that are first on the project lists, along with some smaller stuff that I'm gonna be doing in between. And then in the springtime, probably after the greenhouse and tree fort, are after the greenhouse is done and the tree fort is started, I want to start building a chicken coop at the same time so we can get some chickens this next year. But, and you can see I've got more logs stacked up right here, ready to get milled out. More of these are going to be two by six. What I've been doing lately is two by four for the walls of the greenhouse and top and bottom plates. I need to mill out a few more two by six for the trusses or the well, they're, they're rafters in the greenhouse. They're not gonna be trusses. By my plans, calculations on my plans, the greenhouse is gonna take about 60 to 65 two by fours. And what was it? 28 two by six for the rafters. I've got most of that milled out. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do the the foundation for the greenhouse yet. It's, uh, I don't know, kind of questionable. I didn't want to pour a perimeter foundation for a greenhouse. It seems a little bit permanent for me at this point. If I had more of my, my house built, my garage built, everything, I would probably have a better idea of where I want to put everything else. But I don't have all that stuff built, so I'm trying not to make too many things too permanent. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to pour some type of footings, at least corner footings. And then the greenhouse is going to be 16 by 24. So I'll need corner footings and then maybe one in the center of the walls. And then I'll have to pour or at least have center blocks or something to hold the center posts up. The center four by fours are gonna hold the center beam and the rafters. So the greenhouse is gonna go over here. It's definitely not level over here. This is this is the high side and the ground's pretty frozen right now so I need to get it dug out and leveled before too long or uh or it's probably not gonna happen. It gets too cold it's gonna be frozen all day. It's gonna go right here, a little bit away from that oak tree. This little pine tree will have to go and all this stuff will have to get dug up and leveled. I want the roof peak to go this way because it's the same direction the sun goes. So I can have the back half of the greenhouse, tin roof and siding and the front half of the roof will be clear and the front part of the greenhouse will be clear. So in the winter time, the sun will come in and shine on the whole greenhouse because it'll be lower on the horizon over there like it is now. But in the summertime, with more, not directly overhead, but more overhead, you'll have the back half of the greenhouse will be a little more shaded because of the tin roof and the walls, the solid wood walls. This lets you have a little bit more of a variety of stuff in your greenhouse that you can grow. Some stuff doesn't like the direct sun all the time in the summertime. So after I get the greenhouse done, the tree fort's next. Tree fort is gonna be a hanging tree fort. It's gonna have inch and a quarter or inch and a half lag bolts, special lag bolts you buy. There's a, a guy that designed these lag bolts just for building tree forts, crazy. Um, it's like his specialty is building tree forts that hang from trees. But they're special lag bolts that bolt into the tree six to eight inches and you hang everything from those and they can hold, I think each bolt can hold something like 3,000 pounds. And I'm planning on putting four of those, four of those bolts in 
in and kind of a cross pattern in the tree and hanging the tree fort from those. That way I'm not constantly nailing stuff into the tree. I don't want to pinch the tree with boards because I'd like the tree fort to be there for a long time and I know trees expand as they grow. I don't want to strangle it. If you put a band around a tree as it's growing, sorry it's like really cold out here this morning. You put a band around a tree as it's growing, it grows to the size of that band and then it it basically strangles itself. It'll it'll die. So I don't want to do that. By putting the four bolts in the top, I can hang everything from those, keep it a little bit away from the tree, and then when the tree swings and the tree fort bangs up against the tree, I can have like a two by four on the bottom where the hole in the, in the tree fort is going to be around the tree. I can put a, tree, a two by four on the tree so the tree fort just swings just a little bit and bumps into the two by fours and not the bark or, or the, the cambium layer doesn't wear through to the cambium layer in the tree so it won't kill the tree so i had all the scrap back by my my sawmill there the last video i put out was making the trash bin and i used all the scrap to make trash bin that's all scrap wood all the rest of it i got the backhoe out and i brought it up here to the burn pile which seems like a for me it's a, a waste of wood but I've got so much scrap laying around and I'm going to make more today. I can't save it all. You know, you can't just keep all the little pieces and come up and make them into firewood. It just, it makes a mess. So we're going to burn this off when we burn the burn pile. I've also been working up here on the property, clearing all this out, thinning the trees out, making it look nice. A little more fire safe. This burn pile is way too big, but I'm going to talk to the fire department about having them come up here and watch it as a, as I burn it. Even though it's the middle of winter, they don't want you to burn anything bigger than a 10 foot diameter pile. So that's what I've been up to. Cleaning up the property, milling out wood, dropping trees, a lot of work with the backhoe putting that thing to good use but I'll have some more videos out here shortly I gotta level off the area for the greenhouse figure out a foundation whether it's just pillars or something who knows keep you guys posted until next time go make something <laughs>